what's up world welcome back to the channel apw sports signing in and to give you guys a little bit of a brief update on the channel before i get into the Bears signings episode two of season seven of chicago bears weekly will be coming this tuesday it is going to be a very good episode it is going to be one that is going to dive very deep into some bears history so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but today's video is going to be on some recent bears news some recent Bears signings. And number one, the Bears finally get that pass rush help with signing Yannick Ngakwe to a one-year $10.5 million deal with $10 million guaranteed. So basically, almost, you could say the entire contract is guaranteed for 2022. Now, Yannick Ngakwe brings a big, big help to the Bears defensive front that honestly really needed it even still at this point of the offseason. As we look at Yannick Ngakwe's career, he's a third round pick, 69th overall to the Jacksonville Jaguars. He spent 2016 to 19 with the Jags, 2020 with the Vikings and Ravens, 2021 with the Raiders, and he spent last year with the Indianapolis Colts which he racked up nine and a half sacks last year. So he is a guy that already had more sacks than probably the entire Bears front as far as individual. And he comes in, he's still a little bit young at the age of 28. And he brings a lot of value to this Bears 4-3 defense. And he is a defensive end, a true defensive end, not one of those linebackers that... I think more of a Travis Gibson is. Yannick Ngakwe is a guy that he puts his hands in the dirt and he's going to get after the quarterback. And that is something that the Bears needed to address basically all offseason long. Strong up front. He's going to do very well, I think, in this defense with Matt Eberfuss and Allen Williams. He spent last year with the Colts, even though Allen Williams and Eberfuss were brought over from the Colts. He was still like that 4-3 type of defense. So he hasn't really had to make big-time adjustments coming over to the Chicago Bears from the Indianapolis Colts. He can still be that plug-and-play defensive end, probably maybe pass rush situation specials, depending on how the Bears use him, which I don't think he's going to be used that way because he can also do some things in the running game as well. So at this point, I believe that a guy like Yannick Ngakwe, who I also said was one of the names that the Bears could potentially bring in in the first episode of Chicago Bears Weekly. I'll leave that in the cards. But at the end of the day, we are talking about a guy who could come in, really be a big boost to a Bears pass rush that really wasn't good last year. And to pair him with Justin Jones up front, Javon Dexter, Trevon, Travis Gibson, excuse me, and a guy like a Zach Pickens, who they brought in in the draft, they can really boost that Bears front four, who really wasn't great last year and coming into this year wasn't expected to be great either, but he could be a big help to that. The second signing that the Bears made was bringing in Tidy and Mercedes Lewis on a one-year, $2 million deal, which I think he's going to be coming in to be more of a blocking tight end, more versus a pass-catching tight end, when you have your pass catching tight ends and Robert Tunyon and a guy like Cole Komet, who they also extended as well. So he spent most of his career 2006 to 2017 with the Jaguars, and he spent the last five years with those damn Green Bay Packers. And in his seasons in Green Bay, his highest reception total was 23 with 214 yards, and both of those came in the 2021 season. Last year, he played all 17 games. But he only had six catches for 66 yards, but he did have two touchdown catches. He's going to be more of that blocking tight end, assuming that he makes the roster versus that pass catching tight end that he was earlier in his career. Now, he's still going to bring good value. He was a good blocking tight end, opening holes for Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon in Green Bay. And I think he could do very much the same opening holes for Deontay Foreman, Claire Herbert, Roshan Johnson. I still think that Mercedes Lewis can bring some very good value to this Chicago Bears offense. 
Now, of course, like I said, he's not going to be that pass catcher. He can be a threat. I just don't think he's going to be that big time pass catching threat. He hasn't been the last few years, and I don't think that's going to change in this Bears offense with the weapons that they have now. He's going to be more of just that cognate and the help that offensive line more of a piece of a blocking up front which you cannot have enough blocking and to have a threat at the receiving position i think Mercedes lewis is going to bring good value even though he's at an older age coming in at an age of 39 he still can bring some value to this bears offense assuming that he makes the roster and assuming that everything goes right so at the end of the day I really love the Yannick Ngakwe signing, and I really think we can get value out of the Mercedes Lewis signing. So I give both of those good, solid moves for the Chicago Bears. But that's all I've got. Leave this video a like. Tell me your thoughts on the signings down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.